Welcome to Landrianka on YouTube, here to help you break through fears and live an awesome life. You know, it really is nice out <laughs> wearing this sweater. It's a little chilly inside here, you know, but uh, <clears throat> my allergies are killing me. So if I falter, excuse me for my coughing. I am reading from, we're in the Manifest Joy series, Create Creative Mind and Success by Ernest Holmes. Yay! Man's Right of Choice Today, page 37. Man is created an individual. All right, so we talk about energy. Everything's one thing, all happening at the same time. Not simultaneously, it's all one thing happening. All right, this is what I was told when I was in an awakened state. Everything is one thing. Okay, I get that, but it's one thing happening. Bunch of things happening the same? No, it's one thing happening. Isn't that bizarre? And I was also told that there, time is an illusion. There's no such thing as time. Now, this is way back before I ever read any of this stuff. I would never repeat it to anybody. Okay, I also have, and I'll, I'll get into this. I'm writing a book. It's going to be coming out soon called The Bag Collector. I also got some messages, one that I have not shared that has to do with the powers that oversee the universe and the galaxies. And it's much more complex than we imagined. And I was told something that just blew my mind that took away everything that I thought or believed that there was just one source. So there is the source and there are layers and layers and layers of super energies that oversee things. It's just, it's unending. It's unending. So we'll get into that later because um, these are things I would never talk to anybody about because, you know, woo, you get touched on people's belief systems, the limiting beliefs we've been told here in our church or whatever. If you went to another church and you grew up there, you'd be thinking that, right? But we think that what we learned is right. It's ridiculous. Drop them. Drop all the ideas and say, what if? What if what I believe and have been told is wrong? It's right, and there's all these other things that are right, too. All right, man's right of choice. Now, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Man, and then God, and then the authorities, the religion and that. We think there's a hierarchy and a separation, and that there are things above us and over us that control things outside of us. And herein lies the self-limiting beliefs. So here's what uh, Ernest Holmes says. Man's right of choice. Man is created an individual, and as such, he has the power of choice. That's the individual piece, not separate. Individual. All right? Just like every leaf on a tree is an individual leaf, but yet still part of the tree and part of all energy. Many people seem to think that man should not choose that since he has asked the spirit to lead him, he no longer should act or choose. In other words, I'm going to put it out there and it will do everything wrong. This is taught by many teachers but is not consistent with our individuality. Unless we had this privilege, this power of choice, we would not be individuals. We wouldn't have to do anything. Everything's going to be a certain way no matter what, right? But we know that's not true. We know we have choice because at every moment you can decide if you hurt somebody or if you help them, right? If you do something destructive or if you make this world a better place. You always have a choice. And that is individual because you and I might make different choices, right? This is taught by many teachers. It's not consistent with our individuality. Unless we had this privilege, this power of choice, we would not be individuals. What we do need to learn is that the spirit can choose through us. All right, so it's not separate from us. I would like this. I'm going to ask you. You do it. It's going to think on its own and act on its own. No, it's, it's a power moving through us that's part of us 
And we get to use it and choose. All right? But when this happens, it is an act on our part. Even though we say, I will not choose, we're still choosing. Because we're choosing not to choose. And you're always manifesting. As I told you, you're still manifesting. So don't think that if I don't do anything, oh, the universe is going to pick, you know, great stuff. No, it won't. Nothing will happen. Random stuff. And if you're around negative energy, you may pick up on that. We cannot escape the fact that we are made in such a way that at every step, life is a constant choice. What we do need to do is to select what we feel to be right and know that the universe will never deny us anything. It doesn't ma It doesn't judge. If you murdered somebody and you got out, if you are sending certain messages to the universe, it's acting on you. It will never deny us anything. We choose and mind creates. See, a lot of you are probably going, what? Oh, wait a minute. A murderer? No. Yes, the... Unconditional love, unconditional love. It doesn't judge. Nothing judge, judges on that side in the higher realms. We're the ones who do that. We're the ones that punish people and, you know, taint them for life or name them. A lot of people create some bad stuff. You know that. People connect to some very negative energy and can manifest. How is that possible? Because manifesting is manifesting. The universe doesn't judge, and it just brings it into um, existence, which means if it's vibrating on a low level, it's a negative force. We should endeavor to choose that which will express always a greater life, and we must remember that the spirit is always seeking to express love and beauty through us. It's always seeking that, but it will only deliver what we ask of it. If we are attuned to these and are working in harmony with the great creative power, we need have no doubt about its willingness to work for us. You you want to manifest some negative stuff? Going to be some serious backlash. Serious backlash. And that's the karma part. We're pretty much doing away with karma. You can work it out in your lifetime. But if you're doing some nasty stuff and you're manifesting some powerful negative things, that energy is flowing through you. You are vibrating on lower frequency, and guess what? That's what you're going to be getting. Mm -hmm. Some stuff going to show up you don't like, and it may not go away real quick, because it's tough to pull out of that negative energy and raise your vibration overnight. We must know exactly what it is that we wish and get the perfect mental picture of it. We must believe absolutely that we now have it and never do or say anything that denies it. Now, in my last video, I told you I never doubted for a minute that my book was going to be a movie. Never doubted. I wrote it for that. I didn't write it and then thought it'd be a movie. I knew it was going to be a movie, and I wrote the book to protect my rights because I'm an investment banker and I know how this works. And I said, this is going to happen. Got an agent. She says, you won't believe it. I'm like, yeah, I will. Of course I'll believe it, because I always did believe it. I never questioned it. I always saw it on that screen, that television screen. I always saw that movie. Now I have a movie. Wonderful producers. David Winning, fabulous guy. Michelle Morgan, Tim Reed. Wonderful people who brought my story to life. Never questioned it. So when you have that doubt, your imagination's envisioning something different than that, what you want. All right, so man has choice always, always. And the universe is wanting to send you wonderful things. But it will give you what you want because it allows you to fail. It allows you to not believe. It allows you to suffer. It loves you that much because you're choosing to experience that. When you're done experiencing the suffering, you can change it anytime you want. You ready? Come on, let's do it. Let's do it together. All right, part of the Manifest Joy series, sending you light, love, pure joy, manifesting beautiful, positive things that will change this world and 
bring its vibration up like we were meant to. That's why we came down here. I love you unconditionally. Namaste.